What is up ladies and gentlemen, CJ the Cheese DJ here and we are back with another ARK modded showcase for you guys today and that is none other than the Tech Monagama. This guy is incredible. So guys, there's a mod out there at the moment that you can get and it is the Tech Monagama and pretty much this is what the Monagama used to be. So you've got unlimited dashes and jumps, you can literally just traverse the entire map with one of these guys without having to worry about landing which uh, wildcard heavily nerfed. So that you can only use three of these dashes before you're allowed to land and one of these before you have to land but with this modded tech monagma you can actually jump around the entire map you've got an unlimited amount of dashes now as well as that the ice breath has also been buffed so it does slightly more damage and it does damage over a further distance so it's about eight meters now the uh original monagma definitely does not do that but uh the breath attack it does decent amounts of damage you can see there we're only hitting for like twos and threes but like it also costs less stamina to use. You can see our stamina bar over there in the top right hand corner and we're pretty much able to take those guys out like that. Super easy, super great. Um, the melee damage is higher on this guy than it is on the, the regular tech monogamers. Ah, uh, sorry, the regular tech monogamers. The regular monogamers. But uh, yeah, you can also use weaponry on the back of the tech monogamma as well. So let's just get a, a long neck out here. Um, and you'll see that you can actually use it on the back as well, which you're not able to do on standard monogamous. So you can also use weapons on the back, which is really cool. Um, these guys go up to level 180 like uh, normal tech creatures do. So you can definitely find them in the wild and tame them up. Now, if you're unable to find them in the wild, you can actually craft them as well in your inventory screen. You can see there, they are rather expensive. Um, and there are two variants. We'll go over the second one uh, shortly. But you can see that you can actually make it 500 electronics, 1500 element, two ice titan trophies, 500 poly, and 250 metal ingots. Now, you're probably wondering why would you want to bother doing this? Because this gives you a max level tech monogamer at 270. This will give you a perfect tame 180 monogamer, which results in level 270, which is absolutely crazy. Now, like I mentioned, there is a variant, which is the Royal Tech Monagma. Now, you can also craft these guys. These guys are more expensive. However, these are deadlier than the standard Tech Monagmas. These guys have increased melee damage. They have a longer breath up to 10 meters, increased size, and more stamina reduction. So, they're crazy good. Now, obviously, these guys aren't really optimized for PvP because, like, look at the damage we're doing right now. Um, but, like, nonetheless, if you're chilling on, like, a custom server or your single-player world and you want Monagmas to go back to how they normally were, definitely check this mod out, guys, because it's so worth it. And, like, they honestly look so dope. Just the design of them, I reckon these uh, have to be one of the coolest-looking tech creatures that, uh, that are out there. Now, obviously, it is a mod, so it's going to be a little bit harder for you guys to, to get for those of you that are on consoles. But if you are on PC, feel free to check it out. We'll chuck the link in the description uh, and in the comments. But like, look at the damage. You can definitely go ahead and take out a nice Titan again with one of these guys. And like, the stamina drain is pretty much non-existent, which is really good. Now, we have leveled up our one a little bit. And this was a, a Force Tamed Max Level one. But like, look how dope these guys look. Now, you can obviously see their... Oh, that was the wrong one. You can see their color as well. And uh, it makes changing their colors really easy. But you can see here, they look... Like, come on. How do you look past this bad boy? Like, check him out. So, we're going to spawn in a royal one as well for you guys to see, so we can show you. Actually, I can just do it through here. Uh, we'll just go like this. And the royal tech monogamer. Give me one of those. And boom. And just like that, we've got a royal tech monogamer. And like I said, these guys are bigger, so let's just grab a saddle for them. Uh, and they are stronger as well. But in order to get them, you actually have to kill them in the wild because you'll get their crowns. And you can see the size difference between the two here. So, yeah, but if, if you're really keen on it, definitely worth investing in some Royal Tech Monogamas because these guys hit harder. Their breath attack, like I said, is longer, which is really good. Uh, now, obviously, this one hasn't been leveled up much, so it's not going to have too crazy melee damage. Um, but these guys are also breedable. You can breed the standard Tech Monogamas with each other. Uh, you can't breed the Royal Tech Monogamas to the standard Tech Monogamas, however. It has to be Royal Monogamas to Royal Monogama. That's the that's the only way for you to go for you to be able to breed the uh, the royal ones. You can't use standard ones, but uh, yeah, these guys are really awesome. And if you miss what monogamous used to be, I would heavily recommend you check the mod out because this is definitely a huge upgrade on uh, on the monogamous. Now, in terms of spawn rates uh, on maps that have the monogamous, you're looking at about a two percent spawn rate for the royal monogamous. 
Um, so there's a 2% chance that one of the like monogamous spawns will be a royal, royal tech monogamous. So you just have to keep an eye out and like search around the map. If you're constantly looking for them, you should be able to find one. But yeah, I reckon these guys are some of the coolest looking uh, modded creatures in there, to be honest, because they just totally fit the scheme for all the other uh, tech creatures that have been included so, so far. And our monogamous just took off there. That's, that's one thing. <laughs> Look at them go. Now, they'll also drop black pearls as well. Now, our ones are busy doing their little jumping party over there. Um, yeah, so they also drop black pearls. However, they don't poo at a standard rate because obviously they're monogamous. So they, they, they eat quicker and their stamina drains quicker. So that'll mean their food drains quicker. So you do have to constantly keep these guys' uh, food pretty stocked up. However, it's nothing like the, uh, the official rates where they're just food plummets after you use like three dashes and it's GG. So definitely keep them stocked up with food, but um, yeah, they do poop black pearls. So it's a good source of black pearls, but like this is one of our standard monogamous and like look at the damage that we're doing. Absolutely crazy. So uh, it's obviously the, the ice breath isn't as strong as when the monogamous first dropped because that shit was like crazy, crazy OP. But we also don't have any imprinting on this guy as well, which we could probably fix and see what the damage difference is, I suppose. Let's take a looky. Set imprint quality to one. That should fix it for us. I don't know if it'll work because it's technically not a baby and we didn't breed it. So I don't know if it'll get the imprint. Maybe, I don't know. Let's go test it. Um, but yeah, like I love monogamous, but they've nerfed them so heavily into the ground. And I think this is a really good replacement for them. Um, so yeah, if you're running your own custom servers or you're in your single player world and you want some new juicy monogamous, definitely check out this mod. Like I said, I'll leave it in the description and uh, in the comments for you guys to check out. But uh, yeah, like I think we're doing a little bit more damage than we were before. So yeah, um, and also the royal monogamous come in two different variants. So you can actually get king and queen ones um, depending on how lucky you get with crafting them. And you can't actually knock out the the royal ones in the in the wild as well so you can't tame them like that they're unlockable you have to kill them um and they can spawn up to level 1000 as well so if you do go after them you need to be careful because they will be able to kick your ass because they could potentially reach level 1000 uh they're sort of meant to represent like a mini boss um you know not as obviously strong as the titans and stuff like that but still can be pretty damn powerful we're just spawning in a bunch here i just want to see if we can see the difference between the if we can spot the king and queen monogamous, because I'm not sure if they're possibly tameable or if they just appear in the wild as uh, kings and queens. So we'll find out here in just a second. Let's keep going. That's the wrong button. Okay, we're getting some pretty cool colors though. And these guys are color customizable. So if you use your, um, your, your command, the set dino color, you can actually change the color on these guys as well. So definitely check that out if you if you want to get your own colors and they are mutatable as well. Alrighty, so that's all the monogamous that we had. Let's take a look here if we can see any differences between them. Oh yeah, okay, you can kind of see. So if you look at their headpieces, so like right here in the center, see how I'm guessing this is a queen. Um, see how it's got like that. If we come across to this one, this one's got a different actual uh, headpiece going on on it. It's got like a it expands out further. So I'm guessing that's the king and I'm guessing that's the queen. That's my best get, my best guess. Um, but if we come across down here, yeah, I would say that's the case. I would say these are the kings and those are the queens, the ones with the sort of smaller ones. Yeah, that's definitely a king monagma. That, uh, but that, nonetheless, look at these guys. Look at the colors on them. They look absolutely dope. So you can get the kings and queen variants um, and that's how you tell the difference. I'm not seeing any other differences so far between them by the looks of it oh yeah it looks like their plates go out or is that just me let's come down here and get a face on view now they look exactly the same in that regards yeah it's just their head plates by the looks of it yeah i'm gonna say it's just their head plates i can't see any other differences but if we come across to the standard one you can see here he just looks like your standard monogamy just teched up which is really cool Really, really dope. But uh, yeah, guys, if you want to download this mod, feel free to. It's absolutely awesome. Shout out to the creator for it. Um, you've done a really good job, mate. But uh, yeah, guys, this is going to wrap up the video for today. Hopefully you enjoyed this one. If you did, don't forget to leave a like. Subscribe down below for more. But other than that, guys, I'll catch you in the next one.